Vaping is a lifestyle. It's you throw your whole self into vaping. I'm Talia, Gary's wife. Yeah, Gary, um, I own the shop, I suppose. Yeah. Mm. Um, I started. I started vaping. And um, I went to the little tobaccoist, that's how everyone starts vaping, I suppose, at least three years ago. And I wanted more, you know, and I, and, and I was getting tired of Gary spending money on e-cigarettes. Yes, correct. So I'm um, like, you're not spending any more money on e-cigarettes. So he's like, well, then I'm selling the car and I'm starting a vape business. And that's, and that's basically how it started, yeah. you know. And then we had um, the vape shack where we started, and we started that in jam of this year. And then before that, where the Vape Shack name actually came from, was um, we started in a Wendy house. Um, in our backyard. In our backyard. I was tired of having to go online for everything. And if we were going to wait for someone else to do something in Port Elizabeth, PE, people don't do anything. People don't take the risk. People don't... And as soon as someone's got a great idea, they go to Cape Town, they go to Joburg, they go to Durban, you know, and, and it just grew from there. From, from me just wanting to buy my little mod when I wanted to, to the second biggest vape lounge in the country. I smoked for about seven years, and ever since I started vaping, I haven't had a cigarette, even haven't craved one. Um, I'm also an asthmatic, and I haven't had to take my asthma pump in the same amount of time that I've been vaping, so yeah. The whole thing with like this huge cloud of smoke, people think, oh, that must yeah. be bad for you, you know, like. like a and, yeah, basically, yeah. but I mean, it's far from a house. It so, has like, propylene glycol in it, so it's literally cleaning out your lungs. Yeah, so. I mean, that's used in surgery rooms to clean the air. So, I mean, you're inhaling something that's used in a top-notch facility where they're doing operations where there cannot be any bacteria. But that's why cigarette smoke is always pop. Yeah, because it's basically that towel dump and then you like propylene glycol. But, you know, since I've started vaping, I've made a lot of friends, a lot more friends, you know. And um, it's just... I don't know, the, the, the diversity of people as well that I've been meeting. You can go and get a beer next door or you can get a coffee on the other side and you can make friends. And so many friends have been made here. I mean, guys that have never known each other outside of vape are now buying in each other's house. You'll be sat with and you'll see someone with a vape and it's not difficult to approach that certain person and start speaking to them. So, yeah, everything about vaping is nice. We still looked at it as like, Dirty. What, are you, what are you doing? You're vaping. Um, this is a place where you can chuck a cloud. So the turnout today was fantastic. The way the shop is going is fantastic. I mean, we couldn't have asked for anything more today. This juice that I'm vaping now is a um, strawberry and banana creme brulee. And I'll sit and I'll talk to, like, talk to people about it like it's a fine wine. You know, and I'll go, it's got undertones of this and it's got undertones of that. And I'll think to myself, I sound like a douchebag. You know? And that's also why we pick up a lot of flack. Plus, it's very controversial still. And Gary doesn't want to make peace with the fact that he's a hipster because he owns a vape shop. Yeah, he's got the beard. He's got the beard. He's got like I cook fancy. He gets the haircut sometimes. Yeah, I do. I do that. I do that. I, do that. I, I refuse to and do I'm it. Like, the he never used haircut. to do it. He never used to do that until he opened the vape shop. And I'm like, 
Gary, don't be. I'll go to a barber now. So gay. So gay. Baby nation. Baby nation.